Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Sarva Bhoma Shataka by Sarva Bhoma Bhattacharya Translated by His Grace Bhumi Pati Prabhu O Gurunga, I offer this garland of one hundred verses unto your lotus feet for the pleasure of the devotees. O oh, merciful Lord, please be kind to me. Lord Chaitanya introduces the loving service of Radha Krishna in every home as he dances wonderfully in Sankirtan, overwhelmed with love. Chanting the sweet holy names of the Lord, Lord Garanga distributes the mellows of devotional service to the world. Due to ecstatic love, tears flow from his eyes in hundreds of streams. His limbs shiver, and his body becomes wet with perspiration. He constantly teaches the living entities tormented by Kali devotional service, which follows in the mood of the gopis of Braja. Seeing the living entities fallen in Kali's ocean of filth, bewildered by lamentation and illusion, and always absorbed in serving their families, the most merciful Lord Garanga, thinking of a means for their deliverance, gives them the holy name. He appeared in Navadweep as a son of Sachi, in the form of a mendicant who was renowned and had a most sweetly beautiful body. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the only deliverer of the living entities in this world. There is no other deliverer of the fallen souls other than the most merciful Lord Chaitanya. Whoever is averse to the service of his lotus feet certainly burns in hell. Previously, Krishna enjoyed pastimes with Sri Mati Radharani in the forest of Vrindavan. And now, that same Lord again resides in this world performing pastimes with Gadadhar. Chanting the holy name and serving the Vaishnavas are the only medicine for the living entities tormented by Kali. They are bitten by this snake of repeated birth and death. Thus, they become unconscious. The only medicine is to cleanse the heart of the foolish people absorbed in material desires is to serve the spiritual master with full faith and determination and to eat the Vaishnava's remnants. I offer my obeisances to Sri Krishna Chaitanya, who is an ocean of mercy. O Lord of the universe, be merciful unto me and engage me as your servant. O Lord Chaitanya, you are always bestowing love of God to the fallen souls. I repeatedly pray that you accept me as your servant. O oh my Lord, I am fallen and thus absorbed in the ocean of repeated birth and death. You are expert in delivering the fallen souls. Please be kind and deliver me. I surrender at your lotus feet. You are the deliverer of the universe and you are the Lord of all. You bestow all wealth. Indeed, you alone maintain the universe. O Gora Hari, son of Shachi, by bestowing your service on me, make my life successful and protect me. 
I have heard from the Puranas about the mercy given by the incarnations, which is sufficient to deliver a sinful person like me. O Mahaprabhu, I therefore take shelter of your lotus feet. Lord Chaitanya, the son of Shachi, is dancing beautifully along with his devotees in Ilachala, the topmost abode in the three worlds. By the sweet and charming sound of Sankirtan, he enchants everyone's mind. Seeing Lord Jagannath and desiring to embrace him, Lord Garanga, whose complexion is like molten gold, fell to the ground unconscious, stunned in ecstasy, his eyes staring. At that time, tears of love fell from the eyes of Lord Gorachanga. His voice was choked and his limbs were shivering. In this state, he fell to the ground in ecstatic love. One who develops firm faith for the lotus feet of Lord Chaitanya may have rendered service for 100 lifetimes unto Shri Shri Radha Krishna, who were the Lord and mistress of Vrindavan. The amount of devotion one develops for the lotus feet of Shri Radha, that amount one increases in his devotion for the lotus feet of Shri Krishna Chaitanya. The beauty of his sweetly smiling lotus face is like a golden mirror. His lips resemble the ripened bimba fruit, and his throat is shaped like a conch shell. I offer my spectral obeisances to Sri Gorachandra, whose strong limbs are most beautiful and who enchants the three worlds. His body is tall, and he is beautiful and strong. His lotus eyes are like the fully blossomed lotus flower, and the two rows of his teeth are like the mukta fruit. His decorated ears are like the new mandris, and he is decorated with jeweled ankle bells. I worship that Gorachandra, whose complexion is like molten gold and who is the abode of love. O friend of the universe, O ocean of love, please give your service and a place at your lotus feet to this person who is bereft of knowledge and full of duplicity. O Lord, your name is Patita Pavana, therefore you must be merciful to me. Lord Gorachandra, who is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, raises his long arms and mercifully requests everyone, O devotees of the Lord, just chant the name of Hari. Speaking these words, he dances in great love and shouts loudly, exclaiming, Ha! Ha! He then faints and rolls on the ground, striking his chest with his hands. I offer my respectful obeisances to that supreme person, who has given the holy name of Krishna to the living entities tormented by Kali. That holy name is auspicious to the world, and it destroys all obstacles along with miseries of lamentation, illusion, and greed. His curling hair is tied with the garland of Malika flowers. His broad forehead is beautifully decorated with tilaka and on his earlobes hang jeweled earrings. I worship Sri Gorachandra, whose body is smeared with sandalwood pulp and agudu. His hands are decorated with bangles, and his lotus feet are beautified by the sweet sounds of his ankle bells. Oh, what a beautiful body Sri Gorachandra has. He is wearing saffron cloth, and his complexion is like molten gold. He alone is the giver of all auspiciousness. He is most compassionate, the friend of the poor. Therefore, he alone is worshipable. I pray to the ever blissful Lord Sri Krishna Chaitanya, who has given up his form as Krishna and has appeared with a golden complexion in this age of Kali. 
I take shelter at the feet of Sri Gorachandra, who has given up his yellow cloth and accepted the saffron cloth of a sannyasi. He is an ocean of mercy and the only shelter of the three worlds. When the universe became three-fourths filled with sin, the eternal Lord Sri Krishna appeared at Navadweep as Sri Gorasundar. He appeared in order to deliver the wretched living entities of Kali Yuga who were drowning in the ocean of birth and death. When Sri Goraj Sundar appeared in this age of Kali, the sinful persons such as Chandalas and other low persons all became Vaishnavas. The Vaishnavas have received the mercy of Gore. Seeing the unfortunate condition of the fallen souls, who are completely bound in the cycle of birth and death, the Vaishnavas take compassion on them and distribute the holy names of the Lord. As soon as Lord Garunga began the auspicious congregational chanting of the holy names of the Lord, the living entities tormented by Kali became stunned hearing the wonderful qualities of the Lord, and they rushed to the site of the Sankirtan Yagya. All the pure and sinful persons, upon hearing that congregational chanting, became maddened and danced. It is most wonderful that when the son of Shachi, Lord Gorasundar, appeared in Navadweep, all people, young and old, man and woman, and even the foolish became attached to the holy name of the Lord. After the appearance of Sri Gorasundar in Kali Yuga, everyone, even the Chandalas, Javanas, and Fulas, started to glorify the qualities of the holy name of the Lord. The character of Sri Gorasundar is indeed wonderful. But even more wonderful is the character of his dear servants. Sri Krishna Chaitanya, along with his dear servants, very affectionately bestow love of God on all. I offer my respectful obeisances to Sri Gorasundar, whose attractive curly hair is bound with a string of jewels, and whose beautiful soft forehead is decorated with fragrant sandalwood paste. His ears are decorated with shark-shaped earrings, and his chest is decorated with a flower garland. In order to attain the dust of the lotus feet of the devotee of Gorasundar, who always remembers the Lord's attractive, enchanting form, qualities, and pastimes with his body, mind, and speech, I along with my friends, sons, and relatives, will serve him for one hundred lifetimes. O Lord, O Sri Krishna Chaitanya, my tongue is meant only for glorifying your holy name. My ears are meant for hearing your qualities. My mind is meant for remembering your pastimes. My eyes are meant for seeing your beautiful form, and my head is meant for for offering obeisances at your lotus feet. All the devotees of Sri Krishna Chaitanya are great Mahatmas. They are the personification of the bliss of Sankirtan, and they are as good as Krishna. They deliver the fallen souls who are burnt by the threefold miseries by giving them love of God. The people of a particular country may become averse to religious principles and devoid of good behavior. However, if they take up the performance of Harinam Sankirtan, then that country and those people become glorious. Sri Krishna Chaitanya appeared in Nadia in this age of Kali to deliver the people who are contrary to the bona fide Sampadayas. I have heard from the mouths of the pure devotees, that the Lord 
in other incarnation delivers his own devotees. But by bestowing the nectar of the holy names, she, Garunga of Nadia, delivered everyone, both devotees and non-devotees, without discrimination. The bestower of blood, Sri Krishna Chaitanya, being maddened by ecstatic love, shouts loudly. He destroys the misconceptions of the people and thereby attracts their minds to Krishna. Those fools bereft of receiving the mercy of such a compassionate Lord are the simple, the drunkards, those suffering material miseries, and those who are adverse to the Lord and his representative. In this way, they are cheated in all respects. After the appearance of Sri Garanga, who is the most beautiful in all the three worlds, all the people of this world, including the fallen, the lowest of men, the javanas, and the fools, all became happy and maddened by performance of Sankirtan. The characteristics of the Vaishnavas, who are staunch devotees of Lord Gorasundar, are very sweet. Those devotees are not offended by the faults of the lowly, contaminated, living entities who are smeared with the mud of sin. The reason for this is that Sri Gorachandra, the ocean of mercy, appeared at Navadweep to give the nectar of the holy names, the essence of the Vedas. Sri Gorachandra, by his own sweet will, delivered the living entities tormented by Kali and drowning in the ocean of the material world, which is filled with formidable waves. Lord Garanga gave those living entities the nectar of the holy names, and he clearly explained the glories of both the name and the Vaishnavas. According to the order of Sri Krishna Chaitanya, his followers are delivering the living entities tormented by Kali by distributing the nectar of the holy names to each and every house of every town and village. Sri Garanga is the friend and master of the universe. He inaugurated the Sankirtan Jagya and service of the Lord throughout the land of Badak. Ever since Sri Garanga, the personification of love, began distributing Krishna Prema, the ungrateful, the drunkards, the sinful, and the suffering, they all gave up their desire for sense gratification and sinful activities as poison and drowned themselves in the joyous ocean that is the congregational chanting of the holy names. Those most sinful persons who had no alternative for deliverance in other yugas are now absorbed in the ocean of happiness by the mercy of the holy names which were introduced by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. The most sinful persons are being delivered by the mercy of the holy name of the Lord, which has come from the mouth of Sri Gaurasundar. Lord Gaurasundar is himself the Lord of all, the controller of the universe, and the instructor of all. Sri Gaurasundar is the friend of the universe. He is most compassionate, the giver of the holy name. His bright, attractive, golden form is filled with supreme sweetness. His smile is enchanting, and the glance of his lotus eyes is very cooling. The words from his mouth are full of love and are like nectar. May that Lord Gorachandra, who is the best amongst the dancers, please manifest in my heart. The characteristics of Sri Gorasundar are most sweet. He simply teaches the holy names. Within the three worlds, it is well known that he is the only giver of love. His transcendental body is filled with shivering, 
and he attracts the minds of all. May that Lord Gorachandra, who is the best amongst the dancers, kindly manifest in my heart. Sri Gorasundar is the essence of all the Vedic literature. He is complete in himself, and he is the source of all other incarnations. He has destroyed the sins of the living entities tormented by Kali by giving them Prema Bhakti. He is always engaged in pastimes along with his eternal associates in various ways. May that Lord Gorachandra, who is the best amongst the dancers, kindly manifest in my heart. Within the three worlds, Sri Gorasundar is incomparable without a second. He is the knower of transcendental rasa. Everyone is bewildered seeing his sweet effulgent form. He is famous, the abode of all transcendental qualities, and his nature is of the most profound, uncontaminated goodness. That Lord Gorachandra, who is the best amongst the dancers, kindly manifest in my heart. Tears of love constantly flow from Sri Gorachandra's eyes, which reach to his ears. His bodily limbs are filled with perspiration and shivering in ecstatic love. The extraordinary beauty of his form agitates the minds of hundreds of cupids. May that Lord, Gorachandra, who is the best amongst the dancers, kindly manifest in my heart. Sri Gorachandra is bestowing without discrimination the nectar of the holy name of Krishna. That nectar destroys the enemies of the living entities tormented by Kali. Therefore, Sri Gorachandra is known as Patita Padana, the protector of the poor and fallen, and the ultimate limit of mercy. His beautiful form reminds the seer of the mystery of Vrindavan, and thus the seer feels happiness due to, lo to love of God. May that Lord Gorachandra, who is the best amongst the dancers, kindly manifest in my heart. Sri Gorachandra is the jeweled ornament on the head of all knowers of transcendental mellows, and he is the essence of all rasa. He is always maddened by the name of Krishna. His unlimited qualities are like a deep ocean, and he is very sober and grave. He is most eager to deliver the fallen souls. There is no comparison to his beautiful form. May that Lord Gorachandra, who is the best amongst the dancers, kindly manifest in my heart. The moonlike words of Sri Gorachandra are soothing like the lotus. His lips resemble ripened bimba fruit. His beautiful nose resembles the sesame flower. His throat resembles the conch shell. His long arms are strong and his navel is deep. May that Lord Gorachandra, who is the best amongst the dancers, kindly manifest in my heart. The color of Sri Gorachandra's body is like molten gold. His limbs are the essence of all lovingness. He is the destroyer of the contamination of Kali Yuga. This is his supreme glory. He gives love of God without discrimination to the people of the world. May that Lord Gorachandra, who is the best amongst the dancers, kindly manifest in my heart. Sri Gorachandra's splendid hair is tied by a multi-jeweled string. His beautiful forehead is decorated with sandalwood tilak. His curly hair swings down his neck. His ears are decorated with shark-shaped earrings. And his broad chest is decorated with a golden necklace. May that Lord Gorachandra, who is the best amongst the dancers, kindly manifest in my heart. Since the appearance of the holy name 
of the Lord in this world, all the people have become Vaishnavas. They have become pure by wearing a garland of the holy name and the mark of Tilak, O Lord Hari, and this age of Kali Yuga, let this continue in this way. Sri Gorachandra is fully manifesting his mercy on the fallen souls out of compassion by always praying to Krishna, O Krishna, O ocean of mercy, please protect the living entities who are burning in the forest fire of the material world. Kindly give to them your own wealth of prema bhakti. No one but Sri Sachinandama, who is the deliverer of the fallen and the only shelter of the poor, is able to pray in such a way. Seeing the morose, frightened living entities tormented by Kali and contaminated by sin, Sachinandama Gorhari has given them the holy name of Sri Hari. He has given his devotees the practice of chanting the holy names while dancing and playing musical instruments. Sri Gorasundar is instructing his beloved devotees. In each and every house, install and worship the deity of Krishna, whose threefold bending form is most enchanting. The beautiful eyes of Sri Gorachandra are just like red lotuses. His lips are very pleasing to the mind. His nostrils are like mines of sweetness. I offer my respectful obeisances unto that Sri Gorasundar. The beauty of the lotus face of Sri Gorasundar surpasses the beauty of millions of cupids, is more bright than millions of moons, and is more attractive than millions of red kanchana flowers. I offer my respectful obeisances unto that Sri Gorasundar. The beauty of the teeth of Sri Gorachandra is like that of a garland of pearls, and those teeth are the source of the beauty of his smile. His face is like the face of a lion, and his throat is charming and attractive. I offer my respectful obeisances unto that Sri Gorachandra. On the broad chest of Sri Gorachandra swings a garland of Malika flowers, and his ears are decorated with the Mukta fruit. His arms are decorated with golden ornaments. I offer my respectful obeisances unto that Sri Gorasundar. The beautiful thin waist of Sri Gorachandra is like that of a lion. His thighs resemble the trunks of banana trees. His feet resemble the shell of a tortoise. I offer my respectful obeisances unto that Sri Gorasundar. O Lord Gorasundar, please give me the shelter at your lotus feet, the toes of which resemble the buds of the champaka flower. O merciful Lord, please have mercy on me. I offer my repeated obeisances at your lotus feet. O Lord Gorasundar, the moon-like nose of your feet defeats the cluster of jewels. I take full shelter of your lotus feet. I offer millions of obeisances at your lotus feet. O Lord Gorasundar, I surrender unto your lotus feet, which are marked with the flag and thunderbolt. Now I no longer fear my enemies. I offer my repeated obeisances at your lotus feet. O Lord Gorasundar, you are the deliverer of hundreds of fallen souls. I do not know by what offense I am bereft of your mercy. O friend of the poor, I am so afraid of the contamination of Kali Yuga. Please protect me. What more can I say? You are the only lord and shelter of the surrendered souls what wonderful character does the son of shachi lord garanga possess by instructing people about the holy name of hari lord garanga is inducing them to be attached to hari now 
all these people are dancing in Sankirtan, feeling ecstatic love of God. They cry in ecstasy and explain the glories of Lord Hari to others. After the appearance of the son of Sachi, Lord Garunga, in this world, all the people began to always discuss the topics of Krishna amongst themselves in order to destroy the sins of the living entities tormented by Kali. They vibrate the holy names of Hari, which gave devotion to the Lord, and in ecstatic love they discuss in various ways. Some people have perfected their lives and attained their desired goal in previous yugas, Satya, Treta, and Dvarpa, by performing austerities, meditation, or sacrifices. Sri Krishna Chaitanya has offered everyone in the universe the garland of the holy names of Krishna, and thereby taken away their sins. Those who know the identity of Lord Chaitanya chant the holy name of Hari and serve the Vaishnavas who were dear to Sri Krishna Chaitanya. They alone attain the lotus feet of Hari. Those who in this age of Kali hear the topics of Sri Guru Tattva chant the holy name of Hari with great attention and worship the Guru and the Sadhus know for certain that they alone are the devotees of Sri Krishna Chaitanya. Sri Krishna Chaitanya has preached and manifested the holy name of Hari, which is auspicious for the whole world, and which is being made easily available to anyone and everyone. Whoever receives the holy name is certainly glorious, and he becomes qualified to deliver others. A person may have respect for the Vaishnavas and always engage in Sankirtan. Still, if he is against Sri Krishna Chaitanya, he is actually not a devotee of the Lord. Even if a person serves and worships with undiverted mind the lotus feet of Sri Hari, and that person is fixed in his occupational duty, but if he is averse to Sri Gaurasundar, then he can become neither glorious nor a knower of truth. Why should those persons want to attain love of God who do not know or do not want to know Sri Gaurasundar, who is the source of all incarnations mentioned in the Vedic literatures? Such persons have certainly already been deceived. O Lord Hari, how can such things take place? For what purpose did people with such a mentality take birth? These persons are eligible to fall into the hell known as Kumbhipaka. I am eagerly seeking the shelter of the reddish lotus feet of the son of Shachi, Sri Gorasundar. O Vaishnavas, O lords of my family, please have mercy on this poor suffering soul and make me eligible to attain my desired goal. Thus my mind will be fixed without disturbance on the feet of Sri Gorasundar. I don't want wealth or followers, fame or birth and a good family, austerity, material happiness, auspiciousness, children, or any other so-called benedictions. O Lord Gorahari, please give me the benediction that I may surrender at your lotus feet and worship you life after life. O Lord Gorahari, I am afflicted by the miseries of the world and I have lost my memory. O merciful Lord, please protect me from this fearful material existence. I have attained this rare human form of life after many lifetimes in many universes. O Lord, out of anxiety I am taking shelter at your lotus feet. Please protect me. O son of Shachi, I am low and fallen, and thus I am suffering. My situation is critical. 
Please be merciful and protect me. Everyone in this world has become absorbed in love for you. O Lord, please do not neglect me. O Lord, other demigods are able to deliver sinful people, but you, O Gaur Sundar, are my only deliverer, because you are the deliverer of the fallen. At the reddish lotus feet of the son of Shachi, Shri Gorda Hari, my only repeated prayer is, in life or death, may I always remember your beautiful form. O Krishna, you have accepted a blackish form in Dwarpa Yuga, but in Kali Yuga, you have accepted a golden form. You are teaching the people of the world loving devotional service to Krishna by manifesting your sweet pastimes. Whatever has been manifest in my mind, I am offering at your lotus feet with my body, mind, and words. O oh, merciful Lord, please help me perfect my life in every way so that I can constantly remember your lotus feet. O oh, Lord, you are the independent controller. You have accepted a form full of transcendental loving pastimes, and you are delivering the people of this world by giving them the holy name of Shri Hari. O friend of the forlorn, O ocean of mercy, please liberate me from the shackles of this material world without delay. Let me chant your spotless pure name and visit the holy places so that I may meet saintly persons who were as good as the demigods. O Lord Gorsundar, please excuse whatever I have previously heard, said, thought, or done. Please give me the benediction that I can always remember your lotus feet. This is my heart's desire. O Lord Gorsundar, giving up all shame, I am humbly praying at your lotus feet. Please give me loving devotional service and always keep me at your reddish lotus feet. O oh Lord Gaur Sundar, I have been drowning in this ocean of material existence for many lifetimes. Kindly deliver me. My only prayer is that I may always be engaged in chanting the holy name and serving your lotus feet. O oh Lord Garunga, you are non-different from Virginia Nandana. O oh ocean of mercy, I offer this prayer at your lotus feet. Please make me qualified to serve you in all respects. Whoever regularly reads or hears this Sri Chaitanya Shataka with devotion and attachment will certainly attain the son of Sachi, Lord Garunga, and he will find engagement in the service of his lotus feet. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Ramo Hare Ramo 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Oh, 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. 